going on youtube world it's Keyshana, also known as key of davis take six mom of the davis take six channel how's everybody doing if you're new here what's up new family and go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a brand new video go ahead and share us out go ahead and leave a comment like what are you waiting for go ahead and do it like now now, anyway you guys what's going on if you're not new here then what's up family i know it's been a while since you know we posted and then we do like little posts here and there y'all the quarantine and COVID is getting to us in the sense of we're not able to do yeah, we're not able to go anywhere because i'm not going in the public i'm not taking my kids out in the public so we just doing what we can do from home for at the most but i hope you all are you know staying home taking precautions that you need to take to you know secure you and your family's safety and you know enough of that what i'm going to be doing is bring it to you a new type of video to our channel and i will be collabing with the beautiful august nicole yes August reached out to me to see if I would like to collab with her in doing a get ready with me vlog. So y'all, I'm just let y'all know. Um, I ain't never did nothing like that on my channel. So um, we about to see what it do, how to do, and what we gonna come up with. On Miss August's channel, she focuses on wig reviews, hauls, affordable makeup, collaborations. Y'all need to go ahead over there as soon as y'all done with me to check Miss Girl out. She's doing a thing over there. But you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what kind of look we come up with for this date night. Get ready with me. Y'all, let's get it. Alright you guys, so to get started, um, I usually just wash my face really good. And to moisturize it, I use the Paws Dark Spark Correcting Cream. So I try to do this at least morning and night. All right, guys. So now what I'm doing is using the LA Color Concealer in the shade CC568 Deep. And I'm just lining my eyebrows with it. To line my eyebrows, before I use the concealer, I use a dark to medium eyebrow pencil. And then I just correct any lines with the concealer, top and bottom of the eyebrow. I also use this concealer to blend out my eyelids that don't even sound right <laughs> my bad y'all <laughs> i use the concealer on my eyelids and the brush that i'm using is to blend out the concealer that's on my eyelids I like to use this so when i use the eyeshadow it helps bring out the color a little bit better if that makes sense Alright you guys, so now that the concealer is blended evenly, I'm going to go ahead and place these eye tapes underneath my eyes. Now I got these off of Amazon. Um, if you're interested in these, um, just leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and hunt for them for you guys. But I just use these for to prevent any foliage from the eyeshadow as well as it helps me get like a perfect line going with it when I do apply the eyeshadow, if that also makes sense. But it helps a lot because I'm not like really good with applying it and for it to come out like with a wing. Okay, so as you saw there, I am using the Juvia's Nubian palette, which has neutral shades in this palette. And I'm just going to apply some to the corner of my eye, and then I'm going to blend it towards the 
nose area. I just like to build it up and then work my way out or in. And uh, whatever you see me do to one eye, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye as well. Alrighty, and now that I am done with that color, I'm going to clean my brush with the Crayon Case Brush Cleaner. It just helps get all the previous eyeshadow off so I can use it in a different color. And now I'm going to the next Juvia's Place palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a different color as you see there I'm just blending it a little bit better to mix the colors because I'm going for like a goldish look I'm not sure if I stated this or not but I am not an MUA I just started doing makeup so y'all bear with me there are some clips where I look a little ashy but it's gonna get good the end result is gonna be popping just wait and see and like I stated before, whatever you see me do to one eye, I will be doing to the next eye as well. Okay, so now that we are done blending, I will be taking my small brush and I'm just going to pat like a lighter color. It's like a goldish shimmer. I'm just going to place it in the corner of my eye. And I'm just going to try to like shape that crease really good. And I'm just going to try to blend it into the other eyeshadow that I already applied. So it doesn't look like it's just sitting there. It all goes together. Okay, and once I applied that shadow, I did take a bigger brush to blend it out a little bit more. It just seemed to be more helpful and useful for me. Now that that is done, I will be using a eyeliner marker made by Maybelline. It's a master proceeds all day use and I'm just going to use that to line my eyes just close to the eyelashes I'm not gonna do a wing because I don't know how to do that yet I'm not that there yet girl so we're not going to do that dramatic look we're just gonna keep it cute and simple Okay, and to give my eyelashes a little bit of volume, I will be using the Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express. I do this before applying my lashes. Finally, we have the lashes. I am gonna be wearing the butterfly lashes in the type Roxy. These lashes are from a YouTuber. Her name is Liv, and her channel is Liv's Life. So, um, I did purchase lashes for myself because they look bomb as f. So, I wanted to try them. And they're pretty holding up pretty good. This will be my second, no, my bad, my third time wearing them. I'm 
All right, y'all. So lashes are on, y'all. This is where it's about to get real. I'm just gonna apply some concealer underneath my eyes because I do have a little bit of dark spots, but that's my business though. And y'all know what? I'm just gonna let you guys continue to watch and vibe out to some music, so y'all don't have to hear my voice anymore. But y'all will. I will be back. I will be back. Focus on my family in the back. Learn that from my past, I swear to dad. Yeah, got no time for bitches, that's a jack. Going too fast. If I do crash, I got 20 racks in my Louis bag. Feeling too sad, living too laugh. This is new swag. She like, who they teasing? I ain't tweaking. I'm just geeking for the weekend. Girl, you tweaking. I ain't feeling. Oh, my bad. See, I told y'all I was going to be back. But anywho, um, this is a cool, like, technique. I'm not sure if anybody else, you know, does this or use this. If you do, you do. You don't, you don't. But you don't have to. But I found this to help me out a little bit. I use the Sudden Spray, and I kind of, like, spray it on my sponge before I apply or before I use my sponge to apply my foundation. I found that it helps blend out my foundation a little bit better so you know if you have done that let me know in the comment section below if you haven't done that also you know drop a comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions in regards to that too like oh my god oh all right you guys so this is the part that i mentioned things was a little bit easy for the most part it did not last very long because i was able to bring some mo moisture back to my dog makeup but for the most part the ash was really getting on my nerve and bugging
so you guys this is the look i came up with i had a few bumps but the overall date night look and i do have on clothes for anybody who's watching it <laughs> i have on a um hot to talk jumpsuit olive green but anyway yeah that's besides the point but i'm really feeling this look that i came up with you guys and my highlighter is popping thank you julius and you guys I